I went overseas, so I legit. Hi, I'm Carlos. Hey, how are we doing? Sorry, what's going on? I'm a film producer and director, uh, well, founder of the company Rockstone Media Inc. Uh, what we do is we create content, original, high quality Caribbean content for distribution on the international market. Well, after doing some work here, we did a lot of work here. Uh, started as an actor. I uh, decided to go and study filmmaking in Florida at the Full Sail University. Uh, did some work over there for a while. Then I came home to start my own company because for me it's about producing Caribbean-centric stuff, telling our stories, getting the word out there, you know, letting people know what really goes on in the Caribbean, um, letting them see our creative side, um, telling them the incredible true stories and about people that actually exist here. You know, because it's not just chilling on a beach every day, lying in a hammock, you know, smoking a sp Can we still speak a Swiss spliff? We actually do things. We have a lot of great people throughout the Caribbean uh, that have stories that deserve to be told. And that's what Rockstone Media is trying to do. The project is an action film entitled Deep. And it's about Barbados' first deep cover police unit. Okay. It is a fiction, so police force do not come to my door. And it's just supposed to really be, let me call it a Beijing blockbuster, you know? Like putting our spin, our perspective, our voice on, on true entertainment. Okay. Because I find that that's something that's missing in like the broad spectrum of the arts here. Like, you know, we, we always do things with message and stuff like that. We got comedy down pat, but like the rest of it. So talking about actions, horrors, we're trying to approach all of those things. Now, this is a this is an interesting thing, you know. Uh, a year ago, if you had asked me why we were making this film, uh, it was just an idea that was clawing at the back of my mind that I felt needed to be told, yeah? Now that I realize that what I've actually chosen is the most expensive, <laughs> technically difficult venture that we have to achieve, you know? <clears throat> Large cast, stunts, fight scenes, cars blowing up, reversing. Are we talking like, it's like going to the Olympus and watching any movie from the US. Uh, but I realized that the reason it had to be told is because that's what we need to do. We don't need to limit ourselves. We really need to make an impact and jump right into the water and show the world that we can do just as well as any other international territory. So, this action film actually came out of an interesting, intimate interaction I had. Uh, I shouldn't say intimate, but personal, personal, personal. So there was this girl I really, really liked, yeah? And, you know, she tell me she liked me and everything and it was going good. I was like, yeah, everything's going good. Then I had a friend of mine, a guy, a guy friend of mine, he was telling me about this girl that he know. But it was a completely different person. Like, this girl was like super exciting, super, you know what I mean? Like, he made her seem like this really wild, interesting person. And I went to meet her and it was the same girl that I was talking to. Yeah? Awkward, but interesting. What that said about doing is, I hear wondering if I should really tell this story. Like, I really want Barbados to notice about me. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> What I did is that really made me think about the size of the island, you know what I mean? Like, and how easy it is for everybody. Like, you know, everybody knows everybody. That really comes to life in Barbados. Um, the degrees of separation are virtually non-existent. And then, because I like actions, I was thinking, well, how undercover police work is, is really, how does really work in Barbados? Because i sure somebody in St. Peter doesn't know that he's uh, undercover police. He's actually the effective. So the question is, how can you run an effective undercover unit in Barbados? And that is where the story came from. I was like 15 people, don't worry. This, 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 this ain't how it happened last year. So in light of the fact that this is going to be a very huge venture, it's going to be very costly. Uh, we don't want to do it unless we do it right. So one of the ways we're going about raising the funds is we're having an online fundraising campaign on Indiegogo, uh, that crowdfunding platform. And you can find out all the information about it on the company Facebook, Instagram, and 
There's another one, Snapchat. We all the young people things. They, we are all the wrong young people things. Rockstone Media Inc. That's all you have to type in. And you can find our, our page and it has a lot of the content that we've done before. Uh, it's going to have information on the campaign, how you can donate. Uh, you get basically perks for donating, like you can get uh, the official theme song, you can get a t-shirt, and different things for different uh, donation sizes. Uh, we really need your help guys, so we need Barbados to rally around this and really help us get off the mark. Uh, it is a super high concept film, it is visually interesting, we've already done some tests and the things that we are trying to attempt is crazy you will not be disappointed. The experience I gained from Barbados merged with the experience I had overseas. I thought it, it, I think it's very pivotal because I'm grounded in my culture, you know, and this is where my inspiration comes from. Uh, but all the technical expertise that wasn't available in Barbados at the time when I studied, I got from my training overseas. So for something this big, I would definitely say that my education was an asset. Uh, my work experience over there, I learned, you know, you put everything into practice and you learn little tricks, little tips, and I was able to help some of my crew here that might not know all the things they needed to know. I could give them some tips and information to help them along. One of the great things about working overseas as well is you develop some contacts, you know? Uh, and I have a couple of very interested filmmaker friends, uh, cinematographers and production sound mixers who want to come down and be a part of the team. And not only will they work on the film, but they will be apprenticing one local to basically, you know, shadow them around for the whole time and learn as much as they can so that now a Barbadian can go and start building his portfolio, putting into practice what he's learned, and basically becoming a professional, uh, professional technician within the film industry. The second thing is, we also want to bring down a North American actor. There is a role for a North American actor, so that'll be fun. So we're probably going to do something where we get some feedback from the donors and, you know, the interested people uh, about who they would like to see come down. And we were set about making that happen, but we can only do it if we raise the funds because actors do not look at you unless you have a fully funded project or unless you know somebody. I asked Denzel, but he was a little tied up. He was busy. He told me that he would try next year, you know, but because um, we was having a little, uh, we was having a banks down on the road with Denzel. You know, I was telling him, you know. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was like, you know, a little busy. Yeah. I asked my wife. She said no. Um, so we got to bring down somebody else, guys. So I really need your help. I want to be remembered not only for my contribution to the film industry, but my contribution to the education of other Barbadians that are interested in joining the arts. Uh, that is my main goal. As a young man, I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to be a younger man. I wanted to be a big filmmaker, blah, blah, director this, director that. But along the way, I just developed a, a passion for educating. Uh, I've taught some workshops, uh, helped design some courses, and nothing makes me happier than you know stepping in a class and seeing people in these seats eager to learn. And if at the end of the day there's one person who felt like maybe they weren't sure, but no, I'm sure that I could do this, then that's all I need to be remembered for. Keep it locked to going on, people. Check us out, Rockstone Media Inc., Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Pinterest, MSA message. <laughs> <laughs>